If you follow my channel, you know that I love using creative lighting for all my portrait photography work. And you've probably seen a few behind the scenes videos showing you how you can achieve it too. You have to use lighting correctly and master it. And I will always encourage you to use real lighting in a studio to achieve the best shots and become a good photographer. But today I wanted to show you an insane feature in one of my favorite editing software that is going to help you a lot to achieve creative lighting without using extra lights. It's considered cheating really, but it's going to help you a lot to be more creative if you don't have enough lighting in your studio or you just want to level up your portrait photography work and make it more creative. For those new here, I always use Adobe Lightroom, Luminar Neo, which is the software we're going to talk about today, and Adobe Photoshop. I know it's a very long workflow, but we are all artists and we are all different. We have our own ways to do it and there is not right or wrong, so you can choose whichever you want. However, if you don't want to pay a subscription, you can use Luminar Neo because you can buy it and you own it and that's it. And they're sponsoring today's video and I'm always very happy to work with them because I used Luminar before I started this channel. I was using it religiously for all my portrait photography work and for all my professional work. And I'm very excited to see how they keep improving the software and they keep adding more and more tools. I think you're gonna like it a lot, the one I'm gonna explain today. Luminar Neo works as a standalone software and I do have a full video on my channel explaining how you can edit from beginning till the end using just Luminar. So go check it out later, I'm gonna put it down below as well but you can use it as a plugin for Adobe Lightroom and for Photoshop. And this is how I personally use it. It's very affordable for what you get. And on top of that, you're gonna get a 15% discount using the code LAURABC15 through the link below. So you can check it out later. I selected a few photos, but we're gonna do only four. And they are all very different because I really want to show you how it works. So the first one would be this one. So this is the raw file. I'm gonna go to the edit tab and I'm gonna go to my favorite part, okay, which is portrait. If you go here, you have a studio light, which is what I want to show you today, but I'm gonna fix a little bit the face. So you go to face, you wanna use this slim face. I never use it with my models, I don't like to modify faces, but in this situation, when the model is lying down, naturally, the face becomes more puffy. This is normal when we lie down. So in this situation, I'm gonna fix it a little bit. I'm gonna do maybe 40. This is the before and this is the after. It's very subtle, but it's way better. So I'm gonna go here now to the skin and I'm gonna soften it. You're gonna see now, I'm gonna zoom in and I'm going to soften the skin. That would be fine. This is the before and this is the after. It's very subtle, but I can notice those things guys and the client as well. So once this is done, I love the light and I use already here but I'm gonna go to Studio Light to show you this feature. So this is the new tool Luminar Neo added to the software. And if you go here, you can add layers, okay, with different lighting. So if I raise the amount, you're gonna see that it adds a lot of light because this portrait was already very bright, so I don't need to add it, but it's just to show you. You're gonna be able to raise the amount more or less. But I want to show you with this one, this first. Light customization, do you see the lines. It's imitating some shutters. So to accentuate this, I'm gonna go to light contrast. And look how beautiful this is already. Let's leave it in 10. And you have textures here and you can simulate different shadows like shutters, tree shadow, vintage windows, water drops. Tree shadow, for instance, is very good for outdoors photo shoots. But I'm gonna leave it in strips for now. Then you can use as well dots, which looks very nice as well. But I'm gonna use just the strips. The depth, it's gonna give more depth to the light, so it's gonna be more contrasted, but I'm gonna do less. And then if you grab it here, you can change how the light falls in the model, and by AI, it's gonna detect where it should go, the lights, because many times there is natural shadows, so Luminar Neo is gonna detect by AI where the shadows should be, which is insane. It's like 3D lighting, basically. So I'm gonna leave it there, making sure the eye is bright because it looks better, and then here, you have a map as well, and you can change the position of the light, you see? But like it was normally by default, it's always good. So I'm gonna leave it there. And if you want to accentuate this more, you can always darken the whole picture. And I think it looks very beautiful and very natural, but also I wanted to tell you, if there is parts of the photo where you don't want to see those lights, 
that's fine because they added a masking tab. You go here. And all you have to do is paint with a brass, linear gradient, gradial gradient, mask. So this is the before and this is the after. I think it looks beautiful. This is a self-portrait and I use RGB lights. I love using RGB lights, but it's very dark. So I'm going to go to develop here. I'm going to raise the exposure, reduce highlights a little bit. And then I'm going to go to a structure because the RGB light sometimes is very harsh in the face if there is not a softbox. So I'm gonna reduce the amount and now my face is way softer. This is the before and this is the after. So now we are ready to go to studio lighting. And this photo, I already love it like it is. I love playing with lighting, but now we're gonna get even more creative. So we go to studio light, I'm gonna raise the amount and you see how it works, the normal studio light feature. It's gonna add light. And then if you grab it, you can position the light wherever you want. So it's simulating a studio flash, basically. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave it here, but I'm not gonna use this feature exactly. I'm gonna use again the light customization. And this already looks amazing. And I just have to click here. I'm gonna add more light contrast. This is better, it's more natural. So this is insane, guys. It's very easy to get even more creative with your photos. So again, you can select the strips, or dots. Dots work very good as well. Add more amount. But I always prefer the strips. I like more the strips. And you can select the texture here as well as I said. Let's leave vintage windows for this one. And this is the before and this is the after. I think it's beautiful and it works very very well and it's very easy. So now we're gonna go to another one which is a bit more complicated. Not complicated really, but the lighting is more flat in this self-portrait here. I'll show you. This is a self-portrait I took time ago and you have a full behind the scenes video on my channel showing you how I took this picture. And this is a very flat lighting. It's a studio lighting, but very flat. So I'm gonna go right away here to the studio light section and I'm gonna add more amount. Look how flattering is this lighting. So if you want more light, you just have to use this. So this is the before. And this is the after, a bit less is too much. So if you want to add now more creativity and more layers, you just have to press here in plus and this is gonna be recorded this lighting. So I'm gonna press plus here, add more amount, but we're not gonna use this, so don't worry. It's just the lighting. But now when I press here in light customization, light contrast, maybe I'm gonna go back to the other layer, which is this one, and I'm gonna add less lighting because it's too much. I love that about Luminar Neo, you can always come back to the settings you've changed. Let's go back to this one. And then here I'm gonna add dots. Look how natural this looks like. I, I love it. I really, really love it. And then you can always again change how the light falls in the face. If you want it to fall from this side, you can also do it. I'm gonna leave it here. And this looks very good already. You can always brighten the eyes with the other options Luminar Neo has, but I'm not gonna get into it because there is another tutorial explaining this on my channel. So this one would be very good already. And I'm gonna show you another portrait. It's a male portrait. This one is more tricky because it's darker. There are two colors there, but let's go to a studio light. And I'm gonna add a little bit of light. This one was quite dark. So actually I'm gonna do two layers as well. So here I can select which part of the face I want to lead. If I want to lead this part or the other part, this is amazing for a studio lighting. Again, use real lights, okay? <laughs> always but these things are always like a tool to fix some things or to add creativity but don't get lazy and use light like real light but i'm gonna use it here to bright the scene a little bit and now i'm gonna add another layer for the creative lighting so i'm gonna add more amount and light customization i'm gonna add more light contrast and i don't think i mentioned before you can change as well the scale of the strips so you have less strips like this or many more. This is up to you. So I'm gonna add more and accentuate this a little bit more. And I'm gonna move it a tiny bit so the eye is more lit. You can also change the hue of the light. So if I go to, for example, red and I add saturation, you can add red light. So you can be very creative with this. I'm not gonna use it because as I said, I do it in a studio, everything, but you wanna add more creativity. In this photo, actually it works. You can always add even more to experiment and to make it more creative. For me, it would be too much. Let's see how it works with dots. With dots looks better, in my opinion. This is the before, 
and this is the after. You can add always creative lighting to your photos. Obviously, it really helps if they are very creative. So as I said, learn to be creative in the studio. You have many videos on my channel about how to do this, so make sure to subscribe and you follow my weekly videos and click the bell button to be notified because otherwise, even if you are subscribed, YouTube is not gonna show you my videos. So please click that bell. And if you wanna check Luminar Neo, go through the link below and grab the 15% discount. And also you can download a free trial if you wanna check it out first, guys. But I'm sure you're gonna love it and I do have more videos about Luminar on my channel, so go check them out. I'm gonna link few below. And as usual, like the video because it helps me a lot and I will see you very soon. Big love.